Hello everybody, Martha here. I thought I'd come um, on today and show you the ghost that I'm making. I bought this ghost at the Dollar Tree a few weeks ago and I decided to paint it white and do some other things to it while we're here and decorate it and show you what I did and so maybe you could decide you want to do one for yourself. So I painted it white on both sides and I did two coats but um, it probably could have done less, you know, let some of the wood show through, but I didn't. So um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the sides and kind of give it like a I don't know a little bit of a distressed look so what I'll do is I'll go around it with the Posca pen and kind of smudge it so it gives the edges a little bit of a darkness and So I'm just going to go around all the edges so I can show you what I did so far. I got it a little dark so I'm going to probably go in there with a little bit of white paint to lighten it up. But the Posca pen wouldn't do the sides. I guess it's just too rough. So I'm going to, on here with my uh, Fabri-Castell marker. And I am coloring the edges and then I'm going with a damp brush and just pulling it down like that so I think this one's just a little bit darker so it probably just depends on the look you want so I'm definitely going to have to go in there with some white paint because it got away from me but I just wanted to show you what I was doing and so you can decide for yourself if you want to do this project how you would like to do it so just going with the tip of my marker around the edges I hope uh, you can see what I'm doing. I might have my head in the way just trying to see over here. And I'll go up and under the tail or whatever you want to call it probably don't need to go in there and I got some ink on my um, white base too so I might go in and try to clean that up as well this is only a dollar store go so you don't have to be too precious with it I think I need a little bit more water here so let me grab a little bit here a nice smoky look if you wanted to go kind of reminds me of uh if you anybody remembers charlie brown pig pen <laughs> this is my pig pen ghost mm, 
got carried away with that pen over here. So I guess I'm just going to paint the whole thing this color and then go in with some white. See if I can't dry brush some of this color away. Okay. Didn't get well, this is trying. Let me go around and touch up my, try to touch up my edges without adding any more ink. Well, I wasn't successful at that. If you watched any of my videos, you know I'm kind of heavy handed. Plus, I'm low vision too, so might not do as well as some people would do. Or, well, I think I do as well as some people, but probably have to fix a lot more mistakes than some people would. Think. Let me see if I can get, this is probably an unnecessary step, but I'm going to try to do around the eyes and the mouth too. Wow, I'm really screwing up now. Let me see if I can just wipe some of it off with the paper towel. Some of this stuff you'll watch me do is a learning experience for me, too. So that does clean it up some, huh? Get it before it gets too dry. that better. Wipe some of that away. Yeah, I'm liking that a lot better. before I wipe it all away. Okay. I guess it could look distressed too. Okay. I'm going to call this done, I think. Well, not completely done, but I think this is enough black. Just kind of trying to crisp up the edges a little bit. Get on top of the wood now, kind of make a, a little bit of an outline here. So, I guess my ghost is going to be pretty spooky looking. 
like these came out of a chair. I'm not gonna worry about this side too much. I'm gonna try to get around the mouth a little bit too. So there's no use to do the eyes because I have other plans for the eyes. But what I am going to do, I'm going to go in here with a little more white paint. It's about empty. It's a Craft Smart. I think that's a Michaels brand. And I'm going to just wet my brush and then wipe some off and see if I can dry brush this a little bit. Maybe that's not quite enough. Probably right down the center is where I want it to be the widest. So we get kind of a distressed look, but we get some white too, so we will actually look like a ghost instead of pig pen from Charlie Brown. a little bit more what I had in mind. I'll probably have to let it dry completely if I want it to get any wider. put a little on the back. This is just about gone. I'm not making this two-sided, but I do want it to look somewhat cohesive if it's moved around or something like that. I'm just going to set it on my entertainment center with my other little cute things for the season. Try to get this space cleaned up a little bit where I got it dirty. I didn't realize that was gonna get so dark. I do that pretty much on canvases and like on watercolor paper. It doesn't seem to get that dark and out of control, but. Alright, that's probably good enough for that. Let me see if I want to put a little bit more on the front. Maybe just a little. Okay, 
I got my mouth messed up again, but I think I'm just gonna leave it until it dries. But I'll show you what I'm going to do next when it dries. And I may have to do it off camera because it'll take longer to dry than what time I can spend. I'm gonna put a coat of glitter Mod Podge. And I'm gonna make that the ghost sparkly. But, I really don't know what that's gonna look like with that distress look, but we're gonna find out, right? <laughs> okay, I'll be back when I get this painted and when it dries. Okay, I'm back. I think it's a little tacky still, but it's good enough for what I want to do. I think you can see it, maybe not as well as I can, but that um, glitter Mod Podge makes it look really nice. And while I was off camera, I went over it with some more white, and I outlined the edges a little more. So it doesn't look quite so nasty <laughs> like pig pen. I even did the back a little bit too to keep the paint on. But I think um, the rest of what I'm going to do is just going to be quick and easy and just to make it look cute. But um, I wanted to show you I am going to make some eyes. And what I did was I took a black button and I glued a glittery gem on it. And I'm going to do the same with the other one so you can see what it looks like. Just a plain old black button and a plain old gem that I got probably from the Dollar Tree or somewhere. But I'm going to take my Fabri-Tac and I'm going to put some glue on it on the button and I'm going to add my gem and I'm kind of going to make it don't lose it I'm not going to center it because I want to kind of make it look like the pupils looking around you know or you know like a, an eye and so I'm going to put some glue, let me get over here where you can see, around the edge of the button, I guess, since it's got like a little dip in it. Now I'm going to just put this little eye right here, so it looks kind of more shocked with a bigger eye. <laughs> And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Let's see. Let's... There. Now. He looks good so far, but I want a few uh, another little um, detail. Now I did get this little bow at the Dollar Tree a long time ago. It's probably been a couple of years, so I don't know if you can still get them. But I got them in the hair section. And what I had it for a long time on a pair of shoes, and I finally got tired of it and took it off. But I'm going to put it on my little ghost to make it look cute. <laughs> so should I center it? I think I'll put it kind of to the side a little bit. Some more Fabri-Tac on there. There, I think that looks kind of cute. A little different. Not what I expected to do with this ghost, but 
I don't know. I thought it was kind of fun, kind of simple. And, uh, so let me know if you decide you want to try it too. Probably would be cute, and I saw one lady painted a ghost pink. It might be good, cute and pink, but I just, I guess I'm a little bit more traditional. I couldn't bring myself to paint my ghost pink. <laughs> So there she is. There's my Halloween ghost. Thank you.